the object force field in vacuum and then this is the particular graph and then using the same scale then which represents the object falling in air so the trick is you can use a particular simulation here that you can use to verify or check the answer so the first thing you need to do is since you're exploring speed then you can click on the free fall for showing the world view and the speed and then you click play notice this is the graph of the speed that is going up next you click on store followed by changing the option for the scenario to be free fall with a small air resistance notice that there's a larger surface area and now you click play uh, what would you expect to happen? Would it be this way or, or this way curving upwards? So notice that the velocity or in this case the speed time graph is increasing but it is following the gradient initially the same as the free fall case. So the answer looks like this. Now if you want to explore with even higher air resistance, you just click play and notice that the air resistance, the surface area of the ball increases. After clicking play, where do you expect the curve to, to look like? So again, the curve looks like this because it has reached terminal speed.